Hey guys, it's Thurman W, and I just finished installing these curtain tracks. This is a flexible curtain track as well as some block out curtains. This basically stops a lot of the weird sound and noise when I do my videos and stuff, as well as if you want to divide up a room and have some privacy, this is actually very good for it. This curtain track actually is flexible, so you can make weird patterns and curves to it and still have it roll through, as you can see. Very, very useful and stuff. So this is the one I got. It got about 20 feet of this uh, flexible curtain track. It already comes with a lot of the hardware and stuff that you actually need. It's, you know, it basically clips onto these little metal brackets and there's little hooks that hook onto the curtains. It comes with the anchors, the drywall anchors that go into the ceiling. And here's the quick instructions if you want to take a look at the instructions as well that came with it. You need a quarter inch drill bit so you could drill a hole into the um, thing as well as a hacksaw, which we're not going to use a hacksaw, I'm just going to use some tin snips. Um, and then you basically snap it onto those um, mount points and you just basically do it. Now, the, once you put these uh, clips on, once it snaps on, that track doesn't move. So it's good to know that. For my tools, I basically have a coffee cup top so I could carry any dust. I have my drills ready and drill bits ready and the screwdrivers, pliers, some tin snips. So I could cut it because I don't have a hacksaw, but eh, I sure got a hacksaw, but it doesn't matter. I could just use the tin snips that cuts it right through it because there's a metal bar in the inside of it. That's why they actually have it. Now, another good thing is that these Ryobi um, or power drills actually have a magnetic bottom, so it's easy to actually go up the ladder, do it, install it all in one go, and same had to do multiple trips down. The hardest part was actually unraveling the the curtain because they're actually made of metal there's a metal core to it so for you use the pliers to actually bend the really tight spots because that's the hardest part to bend after about three or four bends it becomes you know much more pliable i guess and you know it's straighter it took about a while to straighten it out i put the anchors every 12 to 16 inches mostly of them are about 12 inches across and I basically marked it on the ceiling first as you can see the rollers and the curtain holders and coat whatever these things are they are actually have little wheels on it and they go into the track and it just slides in. You have to slide it in before you put the uh, the end caps on there, but you can also, if you wanted to, just slowly pry it open and shove it in. But I actually followed the instructions and slotted all of them in, making them really heavy to install when I did it. Um, and there's extra stuff. This is what happened. I mismeasured it. So I had to use the tin snips and just cut the whole darn thing off and recap it. It comes with like four caps anyways. I had an extra of like two feet of the stuff um, after I was finished. So I was actually hoping to put more curves in it so I could make a better design so it could stop more um, sound. But this is perfect for if you want to divide up a room and have some privacy and, and basically get some blackout curtains and you'll be all set. So I got these blackout curtains are like I think 84 inches length. Anyways, guys, this is Stone W, and I hope this review was helpful to you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. W channel, if you like this video, of course, you know, stay tuned for more videos as well as check out the other videos on the Story W channel, like DIYs on how to replace your battery, key fob batteries, or some fun projects like LED lights, adding LED lights to your car or your house. That's really fun. Or Costco finds. I do a lot of Costco finds because I go there pretty much every few days. So if there's any fun deals, I usually post it. And of course, reviews of products I get either at Costco or Amazon or whatever else. And I'll stay so stay tuned for more. Check it out, check it out later. Bye-bye.